love. I love all of y'all tonight. Some of you I don't know. Some of you I know a little bit. Some of you know I know a whole lot, and I still love you. So I love y'all. I hope you love me. And if ever, we love you. Boy. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. If I've ever done anything to offend anybody, I ask you to forgive me. Because that's what I'm going to talk about tonight. A little message that the Lord's put on my heart. I'm going to talk about forgiveness and love. Because we all know that love is what we're supposed to do. That's his first commandment to us, right? I think that's uh, somewhere, John 15 and 12. I have it marked somewhere in here. Shaking a little bit, sorry. Take your time and let the Lord bless you. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Boy, we could just go on all night right there. We're supposed to love one another. That's what it's all about. If Brother Ron Taylor has offended me, Brother I forgive. I forgive you. And if I've ever offended you, I hope you forgive me. And like I said before, that goes to everyone here. We all just need to love each other and get along and, and ask Amen. forgiveness. Because if we can't forgive one another, whatever it is, Amen. how are we ever going to get to heaven? Preach it. Brother Adam, if, if you've done something that has offended me, you haven't. But if you did, how am I supposed to get to heaven and ask Jesus to forgive me if I can't forgive you? That's it, brother. How are we supposed to get there? We're not. I've walked around for... 30-something years with grudges against people. Yeah. And somebody said, well, why don't you like that fellow? Because he did something. Well, what did he do? I don't know. It was 30 years ago. <laughs> and, and I have family members to this day. I still don't like None of them are here. I want to say that real quick. Y'all are all safe over here. Okay. None of them are here. But I have family members that to this day, you say, well, that was so-and-so. I don't like that person. Yes. Well, what? Why, well, uh, 50 years ago, they did such and such. 50 years ago. Really? <laughs> you have given that person that much control over you for 50 years. Preach it. To turn and walk out. When, when you see them coming, turn and walk away. I refuse to give any human being on God's green earth that much control over me. Amen. I love you. Amen. And I forgive you. I don't care what it is. I forgive you. Amen. Anybody watching this video? Anybody? Relative? Amen. Somebody I don't know? Whatever. I don't know what it is, but I forgive you. Amen. And I beg you to forgive me, whatever it was. My God, what a message. We've got to love one another. All right. Amen, brother. Because if we can't love each other like Jesus loved us, that's his commandment. All right. Right there. That you love one another as I have loved you. All right. What more do we need? I forgive me, Brother Rhodes, but I've forgotten just how many words are in the Bible. I think we've already covered that in Bible college. And how many chapters and how many verses? I know there's 66 books. And I know what the first five are. That's the Pentateuch. Remember that one. And I know the first words and I know the last words. But it all boils down to that right there. Right there on the screen. Right. If we can't love one another, what are we doing here? That's it, brother. I heard somebody say something the other night, and I thought about it, and I laughed, and I said, you know, that's so true. Preach. Some of y'all been coming to this church for years. That's it. And I ain't calling anybody out, because I don't have any right to call anybody out. Get down with a rubber beach but if you can't love one another, what are you doing here? In the world. Hey, why are you here if you don't love your fellow man? Wasting your time because you're not going to get to heaven like that. Amen. And I am not holding myself up as some supreme example because God knows I'm flawed. But I'm getting closer every day with the Lord's help. I am a work in progress. Construction zone right here. The Lord's construction zone right here. Okay? Big project, trust me. But if we can't love one another if we can't learn to forgive one another I mean, you're coming right now. how in the world do you ever expect to get to heaven are you going to see Jesus no if you get hung up over something well that person cut me off in the parking lot today 
Bless you, brother. I know I do it too. My wife's like, why are you getting upset over it? You're right. I should. Lord, forgive me. Now. Forgive me, Lord. Bless them, Lord. Let them get the parking ticket, not me. <laughs> Sorry, I probably shouldn't went there. I know the Lord has sense of humor. He created me. Okay. I got to tell you that. And he gave me one too. So. But it's a fact. It is an absolute fact. That's what the Bible is about. The Word of God is about love. The Word of God. Loving one another. That's the D1 commandment. That's it. To love one another. As we love Him, as we love ourselves. To forgive each other our sins, our trespasses, whatever it is. Any slights, any offenses. Whatever it is. We've got to do it. Whatever. We've got to ask Him to forgive us. Once we've cleared that, and I, yesterday, I asked a man to forgive me that I have had issues with for 20 years. Thank God, it's under the blood. I, that's right, it's under the blood. And I, I had forgiven him, but I forgot months ago when I forgave him to ask him to forgive me. That's right. I went back to him yesterday and I said, <laughs> and he's a Christian man, I said, I, I just got to ask you to forgive me. For whatever it is I've done over the last 20 something years, Please forgive me, because I know I can't get to where I need to be spiritually with my Lord and Savior until I ask you to forgive me. And he said, there's nothing to forgive. He looked me right in the eye and said, it's all under the blood. I said, praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Because that's what it's all about, folks. What it's about. We've got to put it under the blood. If you can make it right with that person, you can make it right with that person. If you can't, you find that altar and you make it right with the Lord. Amen. We've got to love each other. We've got to forgive one another. Amen. Praise God. Pray for him. Glory, glory, glory.